awfully long time to get to this position, but now we have the green flag and three lights, four lights, five red lights at Monza when they go out. We'll be underway for the only race this weekend. Great getaway from Russell, exactly what he needed, and Aiken trying to immediately challenge his teammate Hubert as they go down to the first turn. Who is going to break latest? Are we going to see any drama there? Maney's locking up. Is he going to make the corner? Is there going to be contact? There is contact there. Stockholst off the road. Pulcini off the road. Are they going to be able to rejoin without causing any major issues? Yes, they are. And they all battle through with Hubert putting a lot of pressure on Aiken for a second position in this race immediately as they head down to the Della Rocha chicane. And it's very close with Russell in the lead and Hubert moving on up and taking second position, but a big crash in the background. Leo Bolcini has mounted the Genza and it makes heavy contact with the barrier to surely bring out the safety car, multiple cars off the road. But he had almost, well, he'd mounted that car long before they got to the braking zone and he was just a passenger. That was distressing to see. Hopefully they are both okay. The Tech Pro there to do its job. It's the reason that we have tarmac runoff, but still yellow flag out, but no safety car deployed. Surely that requires a safety car or a virtual safety car. At the very least, we've got two cars in the barrier, but Subat going very close indeed, and the safety car has been deployed now. So this is the incident down into the second chicane. Look for the bright blue Genza, and look at that incredible scenes as Porcini just lifted up through the polystyrene and a big hit into the Tech Pro barrier and the tires behind. There's the moment that he gets up over the rear wheel, but both of them rendered passengers at this stage, and here was the hit that has taken an awfully long time to extricate him from the car. On board with the Randy, you can see he's got no control at all. Somehow he didn't collect the car in front, and that was the end of his race. A huge hit as we see cars all over the road. This is going to be the telling angle then, on board with Porcini. He'd already cut the first chicane. He's just going to be surprised. He's just not expecting in any way the deacceleration of the Genza in front, and that was the big hit into the Tech Pro. But we would not have shown you that if the driver was all right.